Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the Fluid Particle Tracing module. We have initiated this particular playlist and a few videos have already been uploaded where we have talked about several forces that we can actually incorporate to solve the Newton second law or the particle dynamics equation. We have demonstrated a few examples like Brownian motion, motion under gravitational field, motion under any arbitrary force field. In this particular video, we will be initiating discussion on the motion of particles where the particles are charged and the particles will be exposed to an external electric field. So there will be some interaction which will be going on in between the particles and the applied external field and how exactly that is going to impact the motion of the particles or the dynamics of the particles that is very important and for that we are initiating the discussion from today. Before I go into the technical dis discussion, I would like to inform that we have initiated a service where we help you developing your research problem. I request you to write to me in the email ID given in the description box and I will be setting up video calls with you and I will help you developing your model. So let us go ahead with today's discussion. So here this particular model we have actually taken from the application library. You can go to the application library and you can see this electron gun model is already there. So in this video we will be discussing about very basic things about this charge particle tracing module. We will not go into the details of the equations. However, we will show you the equations and how exactly those equations are important if you are dealing with charged particles. And in the upcoming videos, we will be exploring those equations and we will try to even calculate the forces and how exactly that forces integrated with this particular particle tracing module that we would like to show you so that the physics behind these charged particles become more transparent and we can actually proceed with our research problem. So this is the ultimate goal of this particular section. So here you can see we have they have actually taken two physics. One is your electrostatics and the other is charged particles. So electrostatics actually solves for the external electric field and it gives you the distribution of the field in the solution space. So this is how the gun looks like. So I can also little bit talk about the geometry because we also work on geometry series. So here the geometry is created with equations. So let me just quickly talk about it and in some other video I will explore this. So here you can see they have initially taken a particular rectangle and then they have taken a parametric curve and you can see for writing, for drawing this parametric curve, they have actually used equations and I have also, also shown how exactly the equations are to be used to create geometries. I will also put that video in the description box if you want to look at uh, that particular technique, you can look at my video. And other polygon they have taken, so the coordinates of few points of the polygons are defined. And if you click build selector, so this is the polygon they have taken. Now this is a kind of sketch. So whenever you are dealing with parametric curve polygon, the, those are basically sketches. Those are not the solid objects. So that's why they have converted it into solid. So if we click, so you can see it has been converted into solid and this union is automatically there always. Now I go to materials. Let us show you what materials they have taken. They have taken a basic material where they have input, they have actually given the properties which are required. So what are the properties required that will come from the equations we are actually tackling in this particular uh, file. So here you can see the first equation is coming from the electrostatics and this is the equation where divergence of d vector is equal to rho v. So I have already talked about it. This is the charge 
volumetric charge density and E is the electric field vector which is equal to the negative gradient of the potential. This V is the electric potential. So this particular equation ultimately gives us the distribution of V along the space. So if, if you imagine when we actually do meshing on this particular solution space, we create different grid points on the space and this particular equation solves for this V and we can actually have the information of V at the at different points and that V will be sub the distribution of this V or the electric potential will be subjected to certain boundary conditions and those boundary conditions are coming from the very nature of the electron gun so let us look at the boundary conditions uh, so here you can see there is an anode so this particular section is anode and at anode a particular voltage is applied this V0 is defined here in the parameters let us see this V0 is 1 kilo volt and you know in electron gun the applied electric field is very high it, it can even go um, 2000 kilo volt or 10,000 kilo volt or even 50,000 kilo volt so here they have worked with 1 kilo volt so at anode 1 kilo volt is given and there is another focusing electrode you can see so this is a kind of ground because you can see the electric field potential is zero and there is something virtual cathode what is virtual cathode we will explore about it and i will put the description later in the description of the description box of the video so that you can read about this virtual cathode so it will actually help you understanding the mechanism of this electron gun and that will be very useful when uh, we are actually dealing with such kind of problems but today's video is not for actually dealing with the electron gun but to understand the physics behind the fundamental physics behind so this boundary conditions basically solving for the electric field and this electric field then comes here it interacts with the equation which equation this is your charged particle equation if you see one electric force term has been added and this electric field force term has direct correlation with this electrostatics you initially let us look at the electric force equation here you can see this force is equal to E where E is the electronic charge Z is the uh, if you have an ion of 2 unit charge then Z means 2 and E is the applied electric field again I am telling if you solve for the first physics you get the information about the potential field so everywhere you have the information about the potential and you know the gradient of potential negative gradient of potential is nothing but your electric field so if you solve this particular equation you have information about this E everywhere if you have the information about E then you have the information about the force field now one important thing is where from this E and Z is coming this is coming from the charged particle that particle is charged it has certain charge which is E into Z and this uh, will come from this coupling the that is bidirectionally coupled particle tracing I will talk about it so whenever you are putting particles it knows how much charge it has and it actually calculate the electric field force and this electric field force they divide into fx fy and fz components if you are dealing with three dimensional Cartesian coordinates or depending on the Cartesian coordinate you have chosen and then it basically solves the inertial equation which is nothing but the Newton second law where you can see the left hand side is the inertia of the particles and the right hand side is the summation of all available sources forces so here the only dominant force is electric field force so it basically from here it passes the information of the electric force here uh, in this particular equation here and it solves this particular differential equation and in, it gives you the velocity particle velocity fields and based on the particle velocity field 
you get the GUI graphical user interface and you actually have the information about the particles so this is the heart of the story and in multi physics as I have already told these two physics are coupled so there are some by default coupling which is electric particle field interaction this is very much important because you know when you are dealing with multiple particles then there will be mutual interaction among the charged particles and if you want to take care of that mutual interaction then you have to have different equations and those equations are coming from here so this is a little bit difficult and I'm working on it I'll explore those equations and in upcoming videos I'll talk about this particular equations in detail however for today's discussion let us try to understand there are some electrical particle and field interaction and that is supported by these equations and this is the space charge limited emissions so what uh, exactly it is so I'll talk about it but as you know uh, from here you can actually put the number of particles so here say we have incorporated thousand particles and uh, those velocity of the particles and everything of this bi-directional couple particle tracing equations are given so there are a lot of equations I need to explore about those equations in detail but again I'm telling the physics is not so straightforward there are multiple equations and uh, just follow our video series in the upcoming video I will come with those equations but the main idea is if you don't know about this equation then it will be difficult to model your physical problem suppose you are working with a uh, field uh, uh, I mean efficient uh, electron gun simulation then you need to explore these equations so we'll look into the relevant papers their document and we'll make another video on it and uh, this is mostly done then if you just run the simulation it will generate the result let me run the simulation it will hardly take some time and let us wait for it so meanwhile I would like to tell again if you want to do your research problem with us write to us in the email ID given in the description box and we'll set up a video call for the video call service we may expect a small contribution money and that contribution money will help us make our work sustainable so the simulation is running I'll show you the results it will take another one minute or so Let me pause the video and come back again. Yeah, the simulation is over and you can see this is how the distribution of potential looks like. So you have higher potential here. So you can see the potential or the electric potential is higher. And this is the grounded zone. So here we have lower potential. Now let us look at the particle traje trajectories. Uh, so yes this is a 10 nanosecond so let us plot it just a minute so this is the contours of the field lines uh, this is electric potential So here we can see the particles so at zero second you can see the particles are coming from here and the particles are going with uh, towards the field so in this uh, region we have higher field so the particles are going there. So we'll talk about this particular file once again in the upcoming videos where we'll be exploring uh, all the equations. So stay tuned with us and meanwhile I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel because it will give us more motivation to upload videos. Thank you.